Noah Chul was here, and today I'm answering your questions. So, <sighs> Noah, answering our yeah. questions today. First question from Samson Toverday on Twitter. Yeah. Why do you never assist Samson? I think I answered it on Instagram. He couldn't finish a cheesecake, the boy. So, that's why. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, Archie on Twitter says, what is your opinion on the home and away shirts? Um, I really like them, to be fair. Um, first time properly seeing it against Peterborough on Saturday, the home kit, I really like it. <clears throat> and the away kit's smart as well, yeah, no, I think they're both really nice, yeah. Excellent. If you had to pick a favourite, which would it be? I quite like the home one, it's something different, yeah. Uh, this is from Tom on Twitter, he says, Oppenheimer or Barbie? <laughs> I've, I've only seen Barbie so far, so I'm going to have to go with Barbie, yeah. <laughs> Will you go and see Oppenheimer? I'm going to, I might even go tonight, actually. Okay. Give us an but, update. I uh, got made by the missus and my sister to go and watch Barbie, so, <laughs> yeah, watch that one already. Your review? Enjoyable, yeah, enjoyable. Not sure I should say that on the camera, but it was good. <laughs> uh, Craig on Facebook, your favourite Star Wars movie? I really like Star Wars as well, but I've not watched them in a while, so I actually wouldn't know what one is my favourite, but I'm a big fan of the thing as the a whole. whole universe. Yeah, the whole, the whole Star Wars verse. Uh, Roger on Twitter, favourite football team as a kid? United, Man United. And your footballing idol? Ronaldo. Easy enough. Yeah. That probably answers another question a little bit later <laughs> on, Messi or Ronaldo. To be honest, probably Messi, but Ronaldo was when I was growing up as a United fan. I lived in Portugal for a bit as a kid, so he was the was the main the main yeah, fellow, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, Big Will on Twitter. What is your match day playlist? I'm on the I am the DJ in the change room, so just a mixture, whatever the boys like. Obviously we've got a bit of the usual kind of like Drake, things like that, but then I've got to mix in a bit of house. Some old school stuff for the older boys, so yeah, try and be a bit versatile, yeah. Got a bit of everything. Uh, Twit goal use on Twitter, favourite goal you've scored? Um, it's probably between Scunthorpe away and Orient away. Probably going to have to go Orient away, yeah. Sears wants it through the middle, Chilvers carries on with his run, left footed, brilliant! Absolutely brilliant! And your favourite goal not scored by you? Not scored by me. I don't remember any. Um, <laughs> not scored by me. Um, I'll probably go. I'm going to go Kells when he scored that goal against Bradford, the header. I don't know why. Oh, was it Bradford? I don't know who Salford. it was. Salford. Salford. I don't know why. Just I think the celebration and it was just cracking header as well. So I think I'll go for that one. Excellent choice. Uh, Favourite game you've played in? That's from Anthony on Twitter. Um, Scunthorpe away, I think, just because personally thought I played well, scored scored a good goal, scored two. I think that was my first time I scored two, so yeah, and that was a big, big day for us in that, that season. Yeah. Uh, Cufc underscore L on Twitter. How does it feel to be vice captain of the club you grew up at? Yeah, no, it's a massive honour for me. Obviously, I've been here since I was nine, ten, so to get the vice captaincy, I spoke to the gaffer. Uh, a few weeks ago about it and it, it, yeah it was a really really nice feeling for me first thing told, told my family and stuff obviously really happy for me so that was a big thing obviously I've come through lots of ups and downs since I've been here through the academy and things so yeah no it was a real real big achievement and I'm very thankful for, for getting it yeah and Matt on Facebook he says congratulations on getting the number 10 shirt this season how did that conversation come about and are you ready to embrace the challenge that comes with wearing it yeah um, for me to be fair I'm not really looked into it too much I just think it's the nicest best number that, that you can have in football I think so it's not really a massive thing I don't think it's really anything that I've thought about oh, no, it's a bit of pressure with the number 10 like it doesn't really make a difference it's just a number on your back but um, no it is like it's my favourite footballing number um, so yeah it was it's, uh, yeah, it's nice to have it it's just yeah it's a nice thing to have but came about in the summer um, the kit man just put on the group chat if anyone wants a new number just uh, text me and he'd ask the gaffer so I just said uh, if 10's uh, available then I'll have that if possible and then come in the first day and my kit had 10 on, so that was it really. That probably answers the next question. Uh, your dream club and shirt number, probably Manchester United. United and United. to be fair, if you're going there, then seven's got to come into question. Um, but yeah, seven or 10, yeah, United. Uh, Joshua on Twitter, what are your personal targets for goals and assists this season? Yeah, my, every year my targets are just to, to, to go better than, than the season before. So last year I got nine, so hopefully I can get to double figures this year. and. I think assist is something I need to, like Sampson said, uh, I need to add to my game a bit more, so hopefully I can get, get near enough double figures for them as well, that's the plan. Uh, this is one from Koyu underscore ST2 on Twitter. Uh, what is your dream five-a-side team that includes yourself? <sighs> Tough one. I think I'm going to have to go like all-out attack, no defenders in there, 
um, Ronaldo, Messi, Rooney, and De Bruyne. No goalkeeper? No, goal, no goalie, no. no goalkeeper. Monkey rush. <laughs> Rooney, Rooney can do everything, so I'll stick it in probably. <laughs> It'll be all right. Uh, Sammy on Twitter says, you're in the MasterChef final, what are you cooking? That's a real tough one. Um, I'm actually not a bad chef, you know. I'll do a nice, like, Nando's flavoured pasta. Found it on TikTok, but real nice recipe. So I'll probably do a bit of that, it's decent. Get most of your recipes from TikTok? Most of them, yeah, I actually do, yeah. Most <laughs> of them come straight from TikTok. Save them and uh, go for them, yeah. It's from Jack on Instagram. He says, who is the best singer in the dressing room? <sighs> singer? I think John Aginde fancies himself a bit. He's got a bit here and there, singing all the time. Um, I'm not bad. I'd probably say, I wouldn't say any of us are great from what I've heard, but I'd say John, when he gives it a go, I think at times in the change room, he's not bad. Let's get Big John on the mic. Yeah, get me and Big John on the mic. We uh, we did a du we did a um, a duet, and with Hornby, so not a duet, uh, away last year somewhere. Did uh, all of me. weren't too bad to be fair. <laughs> weren't too bad. Uh, James on Facebook. Do you have the smallest shin pads at the club? I think you'd be surprised. No, I think I just wear mine low, so everyone thinks that. I think Newby wears some mental shin pads. So does Samson, if if any at all, to be honest. <laughs> Even though he's ratting around all game, but. If that makes sense. And then this is the last one from Dave on Facebook, bit of a random one. What is yeah. your favourite lorry? He says his is Norbert Dentrasangel, followed by Eddie Stobart. Eddie Stobart, that's probably the only lorry I've ever heard of. Um, favourite lorry? What's your favourite lorry, Dallo? My favourite lorry? Yeah, yeah. Enough, yeah? Uh, Stobart? Yeah, probably Stobart. Yeah. <sighs> lorry. Eddie Stobart, yeah, that's what I've been given. I'd have to go Eddie Stobart, yeah, because that's that's all I uh, that's all I know really. Yeah. Thank you, Noah. Thank you very much. No worries. Thank you.